If you like to laugh, and who doesn't, then you've come to the right place. Welcome to My Funny House with the Powell Brothers. Frank Powell is a real estate broker who was born and raised in San Diego, along with Frank's brother Mark, a real estate broker who also lives in San Diego. Each week, the Powell Brothers bring in a special guest comedian to share hilarious real estate stories so you can learn what can go really right and what can go really wrong with home improvements and home ownership. So now, let's get into it with My Funny House. Here are your hosts, Frank and Mark Powell on The Answer San Diego. Good morning, San Diego. Happy Saturday. My name is Mark Powell, and welcome to My Funny House with the Powell Brothers. And sitting right next to me is my brother and business partner, Frank Powell. Good morning, San Diego. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to have a good show today. But of course, before we start talking about topics, we've got to introduce our co-host, which is very nice because she's back, Maria Herman. At a far distant land. Woo-hoo. Yeah, we- I, I am in a far distant land right now. It's called Chula Vista. <laughs> <laughs> that is far. We're, we're, we're t- tell the audience where you're where you're calling in from. I'm actually calling in from Costa Rica. Ooh, nice. Body, yes. body. <laughs> exotic, exotic. Right. Very crisp uh, internet actually, connection we've got. Yeah. I would have no it's idea that a- you were in. Costa Rica. That's because I'm actually in Chula Vista, but it's <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> Sounds similar. Yeah, same place. <laughs> yeah. Mark, isn't that it, like Mark wanted to go to the you know take his wife to the island, so she thought she's going to Hawaii. Took her to Fiesta Island. Oh yeah, yeah that was That's nice. <laughs> okay. Anyway, in studio we get to have a special guest. Maria, go ahead and introduce who we have in studio. You can. Uh, one of my favorite comedians in San Diego. He's absolutely hilarious. Please welcome the one and only Jesse Egan. Thank you. Yes. Jesse. Yes. I thought you were introducing Todd right there. <laughs> That's Jesse. <laughs> hey, Todd. Jesse's also a writer. Uh, he writes comedy for uh, for a show. And yes. congratulations on that. Because Thank that you. COVID is Hopefully good. he can write some for our show. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> can you help Make us? it a little funny. <laughs> Okay, Okay. so today we're going to talk about a a topic that many people have some misconceptions about. It's mobile homes. Hmm. Mobile homes, a great option for many. First first thing I want to find out is why are mobile homes so much less expensive than regular homes? Frank, can you share that with us? Well, a mobile home, if you picture it, is built in a factory. So it's built on a chassis. It goes down like a line. So everyone, you know, attaches the parts, attaches the parts. They're built with... Uh, you have to remember that a mobile home is on a structure. It's usually on wheels or or not on a foundation. So the materials in a mobile home are uh, less uh, heavy than those of a regular house. So they have to use special materials to build it. And since it's built on an assembly line, unlike a house, you can reduce your cost and increase the value. So it feels like there's no foundation, but maybe if I live there, I have to wear more foundation. Yes. <laughs> Yes. If you live in a trailer park, you want to wear your foundation because you're not going to be living on one. So that's, that's about it, right? Uh, well, there's, that's true. Jesse, what do you think? I always thought a mobile home was like you could just drive away. I didn't realize that it, it's like made in a factory and then they bring it to the park and then it's really not mobile anymore, is it? Well, correct. It's, uh, well, it is mobile. They have a special uh, truck and trailer hitch that they can move a mobile home costs about ten thousand dollars if you want to move it around to another mobile home park so they they're not they're secured in a way not to be uh to be earthquake safe but they're called straps and um you take off the straps and then you back up that truck and you can actually lift them and move a mobile home out of a mobile home park so they what's are a, what's mobile. a strap to this this stra- a strapping means that in order to get a loan for a mobile home you have to make sure that it meets certain qualifications in california one of the qualifications is that it is secured in place for winds or earthquakes. So what they do is they attach a strap, which is really just a big nylon, um, not a rope, but a nylon uh, cord. Uh, not a cord. Uh, it's, it, it looks like a belt made out of nylon. It's, okay. It's a really good like tow a, hitch. Like those like, ones that they use when they come along belts. Kind of, yeah, like exactly. A, exactly. Like, it, a tie, like a tie down for a tent? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's like a, yeah. Bungee a very cord. Large, <laughs> a bungee cord. <laughs> Yeah, sounds really if you get home. duct tape, really duct tape and rubber bands. No, but what you do is they put a huge anchor in the floor and then they attach it. So it's called strapping, but it's not going to move. And then once you strap it, you go under a certain uh, designation to get a special loan. 
a home loan as opposed to a car loan because uh, before you strap them down, they're considered uh, a, a mobile home under the vehicle and licensing department. You know what I've noticed about mobile homes and strapping them down, Jesse and Maria, maybe you can chime in on this, is why is it that whenever you see a tornado, it always goes through a mobile home park? You ever notice that? Mm, that's a main tornado. They, <laughs> exactly. I, I don't know. It's a it's a whole Wizard of Oz thing. So I've been lying then, you're saying, for years by saying I own a mobile home just because I sleep in my car. That's not, yeah, it well, doesn't qualify. It does now. I strapped myself mm-hmm. down. In San Diego, you can now legally sleep in your car. So yeah, that would be considered a mobile home. Mm. I always tell people when, when they talk about the homeless people, I go, um, they're not homeless. These people are houseless mm-hmm. because they create a home wherever they are. So if it's your car, then that's your home. What's the difference between a, right. a double wide mm. and, a, and a regular mobile home? A du- what's a double wide? A single wide and double wide. It sounds like an American and a non-American version because <laughs> Americans, everything's always bigger is better. Like the double wide, that's the USA. Double wide, it yeah. is. It actually, it, that's correct. It's Typically, a big and tall home. It, it, it would be like buying a <laughs> <laughs> big and tall. It'd be like buying a condo versus a, a house. It's just more room. So you, these trailers are made like in triangles and you literally, there's a seam right down the middle. You can uh, detach one of the walls. And then you stick two of them together and they seam it in the center with an elevated roof, so like a pitch roof. And they basically Wait, stick them both s- together. Mm. Did you say a triangle? Did you mean a rectangle? No, the, 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 how, the top. A the triangle? Ha- well, um, a point. So uh, the, um, the top of the roof. It's, you the, know, the, the angle. The apex. Yeah, the apex. Oh, it's, uh, okay. I, it's more like an A-frame. So you can have Got a it. vaulted ceiling. But the actual mobile home is a rectangle. I always wondered what a B-frame home would look like. <laughs> <laughs> Very awkward. It sounds like a, a double wide sounds like it might be a B-frame. It's like a double cup. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Call, call them a double Frank, B. Frank, what's the difference between a mobile home and a manufactured home? Because you hear these well, people say, uh, I live in a manufactured home. Manufactured homes are very simple. A manufactured home means that they're building your regular house, like just picture a house in a neighborhood, but they're building it in a factory. And what they do is they put, they put like the, truss, the trusses together, they put the walls, they have it all complete, which is really regulated, which is a really good thing as opposed to building it on site. So then they bring the whole house to your foundation and they put these walls up, they put the roof up, they put the trusses up, they put the joists up and they, they make your house. So it's considered a manufactured home because it's not made on the site. So when you it see, sounds like an it sounds like an Amish razor barn. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. That's that's what they do. But you know, you could do the same thing in your property. But we're in San Diego. A lot of people can't do that because you know, six months out of the year is icy and snowy and rainy. So they they build a house in a factory, then they just ship it over and they put it together. They're just they're just as strong as a a regular house, or maybe even stronger. But so if you buy a mobile home, let's say I want to buy a mobile home. Mark wants to buy a mobile home. So I look around and I buy a mobile home. What, after I buy it, where do you, what do I do with it? I mean, is, where do I put it? Mobile home park. Okay, what's a mobile home park? A mobile home park is an area where three or more uh, manufactured homes are created for a profit. So if you look at uh, a lot of outside the El Cajon, La Mesa, Oceanside, even some by the coast. There's one in Claremont. Claremont, they're all, they're all over, right? Yeah. So you get a parcel of land and then you have to have a utility. So every spot has a utilities, every spot, you know, gas, electric and sewer or septic. And then you have that little plot of land that you put your mobile home on and you trailer it Do you it own the land? Typically you do not own the land. You just own the house. You own the mobile home. So, but that's, so, go ahead. How different is a mobile home park or a manufactured home park from a caravan park? Is it that? different it's a, a caravan that's a caravan is that like a festival is Circus? that where everybody it's like a tailgate <laughs> is that like, it's a tailgate okay. party oh it is <laughs> oh wow okay oh, wait she's so she's wait really caravan awesome. is an Austra- it's an australian term i'm okay so um so a trailer i mean a trailer a tra- is it like a circus no, no, no. There's a there's a mobile home park and no. a trailer park. This is a there's, traveling carny yeah, thing. Yeah, right. Isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Your Ferris wheels. A trailer park. <laughs> Ferris wheels. Yeah, one of them has a Ferris wheel in the middle, and one of them doesn't. No, I know what you're saying. You're saying what's the difference between a trailer park and a mobile yes. home park? 
A trailer park is, is where you rent only two or three days. You bring your own trailer in there. You can stay up to a week or, or maybe longer, but you're not there for permanent residence. A mobile home park is where you get your mail, where you pay your bills, where you're going to live. It's, it's permanent. It's Which one of- has funnel cake? <laughs> that's my favorite one. I'm, the I'm still thinking about the circus and those little those poodles that jump around and dance you ever seen those no what circus is that it's the, the caravan circus <laughs> <laughs> they train poodles remember there's there's special parks that do 55 years and up and there's a lot of poodles what does that mean well what does that mean 55 years I've uh, toured those actually Vicky and I did a comedy tour in Arizona of some vast trailer parks and uh, 55 and up I mean they were 55 was very, that's a very young yeah. uh, audience member for what we had. Everyone right. there was at right. least and twice that. Vicky, li- Vicky lives in a trailer she park, lives in, right? She's the trailer we're, queen of we're the trailer talking, park. We're talking about Vicky Bobolak, mm-hmm. who's been on America's Got Talent, and she's just been uh, unbelievable, tours well, the country. She claims Jessie, she has a Jessie. fancy trailer. It's up on top of a hill, and she looks down at all the other trailers. <laughs> well, it's absolutely, uh, <laughs> what, what people are doing now with trailer homes is they're seeing that it's a better value because they cannot afford a regular house. Mm-hmm. So it's an option. But what people usually picture, which is bad, is like trailer trash, and they have all these terms for it, but it's not anymore. No. It's not like that at They're all. They're nice. You, no, can make, you nice. can make, yeah, you can make a trailer, and I've done it before to five or six of them. You could put, you know, the, the granite, all, all, all the special appliances. When you walk in there, you can make it look so beautiful. So when you picture a mobile home park, don't, I don't know what you're picturing, but picture beautiful, beautiful houses on the inside. And what's cool, the way they're designed is that you have a roof on both sides because one of them is for a patio and one of them is for parking your cars. And on both of those roofs, you could put solar panels. So you could run a mobile home park almost free and clear and have no carbon uh, footprint, which mm-hmm. is nice. And that's what people are looking for. Was it cheaper than renting to live in a mobile home park? Well, if you th- right now they're increasing because um, there has been a buyout of most mobile home parks in all of the U.S. by um, who's that guy, the big guy who buys everything? Um, he owns the railroads too. Yeah, who owns the railroads? Um, the Monopoly guy, Buford Pusser. No, <laughs> no, no. Um, uh, Walt yeah. Whitman. No, the guy that does all the uh, Elon Musk. No, uh, no, Jeff Bezos. No, he does all the stocks. He's a bonds. real um, the biggest guy. He owns Berkshire Hathaway. God, I can't believe he did. He no, come on. <laughs> am I getting closer? He did. Am I in, am I warm? He's in trouble. That guy. Hmm. Forbes or no. Forbes? No, 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 no not, not Forbes. Forbes. No, who? Help us out. Google who who owns Berkshire Hathaway. What a what a waste of time on a radio show. Who owns that? Um, I don't know. He's right on the tip of my tongue. You know what I'm talking about? Will somebody about? please email us or call yeah, us. Somebody, somebody call in. It's, everyone's screaming the guy's Warren name. Warren now. Anyway. In any event. So Warren Buffett. Santa Bi- Warren so Buffett. Santa Warren Buffett. Thank Warren you. Buffett. Thank there you go. Oh, so Warren I Buffett. I thought he was a singer. No. That, well, that's, no, he's oh, not that's a singer. Oh, that's Jimmy. That's, <laughs> his, yeah. that's, that's his, Margaritaville. <laughs> Which is also a trailer. That's the strangest song ever. It's if so- you after listen to the song, yeah, he hates yoga. Yes, everything. <laughs> <laughs> Loves rain. Very All strange. right, back to back to back. Okay, to Warren. so what happened Let's was back Buff- to the trailer park. Warren Buffett and these people bought a a massive amount of trailer homes, mm. a land which was bad because what they do is they're increasing the rent rapidly and they're trying to match it with the uh, outside area of what housing and rentals cost. You used to be able to get a mobile home and stay there for you know a thousand bucks a month and no one bother, bothers you at all. But now they're increasing the rent to equal the amount of rent in the neighborhood, which is uh, basically making it difficult for fifty five and up for people on fixed income. So that's a problem. That's ridiculous. Yeah. So so what does it cost to move to a mobile home park? Like what's your what would you think your average cost is? Well, to, in order to get in, you have to qualify because you have to fill out an application. They don't just let anyone in there. You have, mm. to, you have to either buy a mobile home that's already there that's for sale or you have to get a mobile home. Now, you have to understand there's a lot of mobile homes for sale across the U.S., but California regulations will not accept like a mobile home from Arizona. There's different things in the material. There's different ways. Really? Yeah. There's different uh, ways of how they build them, and they have to be California, regulated California uh, quality to move in. So mm. you can't just buy a mobile home in uh, Arkansas and move it here. It may not qualify Frank, to be in the park. Then it really isn't mobile. Yeah. Yeah. That's a no, it false is mobile. advertising. You, you just have to get the right one. Why but do you, you can't cross state lines with it? No, you can cross state lines, I mean, but it won't qualify for uh, how we build things in California. You could probably just put it on so your own. So wait, so wait, you can ha- you have to you have to live 
in your mobile home from Arkansas while it's still on the trailer because you can't put it down anywhere. That, <laughs> you just that have would to keep driving a, around. A really mobile home. Uh, exactly. But what, then, Jesse, that's the mobile home. That's, why mobile do they home experience. What mobile. would you like? What would you like to look at tomorrow morning? <laughs> it's like a cruise ship. It's just, <laughs> we don't know where it's going to land. That's awesome. But why do they have such a bad reputation as mobile homes? I love this. Because stuff. whenever yeah. you whenever you watch a movie or you see a show, mobile home, if you watch Cops, it's always somebody being chased with a, you know, he has stains on his shirt, his hair is all messed up, he's crawling in the mobile home on drugs, and there's just like a bad stereotype. It's just mm. negative. It's, it's not right. And if you go to them, which I have done, you won't believe when you walk around. They have they have the swimming pools. They have the rec centers. Mm -hmm. They have uh, open right. gardens. They ponds have they have, and they have ponds. They have walkways. They have a whole bunch of stuff for like uh, people who have they Alzheimer's. They got a Ferris wheel. They, they got, got uh, performing just, chihuahuas. That's the carly again. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's only in Australia. Ha, okay, if, Frank. So you said I can buy a mobile home or I can go yeah. on a mobile, but can you rent one? Uh, no, it's very hard to rent one. They don't like renters. Uh, the, most mm. of them are kicking out all the renters, and you have to be owner occupied. Really? Yeah, that's one of the regulations. And most of the parks, and I know in San Diego. So, how much does a mobile home cost? Like, if I actually, I go, I want. If you want to buy a, a, a mobile home, you can get a really, really bad one and fix it up for like forty grand still, and then you have wow. to put the money in. But right grand. now, if you go to like places like Oceanside, where there's mobile home parks right on. The water, mm -hmm. they go from three hundred and fifty to four hundred and fifty thousand. They used to be one hundred to one. No, they're they're what? up there now. Yes, wow, three hundred and fifty thousand dollars for a mobile home, and you have a. Uh, but slight, you're right on the. Water. Well, you're not. You don't even have a view. You have to right. walk out, but you are on the water. Mm -hmm. Does it? It doesn't even have a motor. Wait, yeah. wait. <laughs> yes. But you don't own the land, right? You just own the home. There, there's there's some mobile homes that they let you own that parcel of land, but most of them will not allow you to own. The, the, the land and they're still that expensive you'll get like you'll pay about fifteen hundred dollars a month and uh you wow. get all the services just like you're in a condo but the house is the house it's just like buying a condo uh, when you buy a condo you don't own the land either you're buying air so it's just like just like saying if you buy a condo for five hundred thousand you don't own the land you only own a block of air inside of a building so it's just like that, but but it still costs you four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand. So they're still cheap. So people are looking at them as a different way. I to think buy it's more a, than a block a of air inside a building. Hmm. What's that? It's more than yeah. just a block of air in a building. You you get a refrigerator. Oh, you get the refrigerator. Yeah, and the mm. microwave. So <laughs> cold you know, air. Well, <laughs> remember, people used to buy. Uh, people used to think the in investing in condos were a bad thing at forty thousand dollars. They go, I don't want to buy this. I'm just buying a. I, I don't yeah. own anything. And however, little those, did they know. Little did they know that now they're five hundred thousand. That's what mobile homes are doing now. They're wow. they're the alternative to a granny flat. What's a granny flat? So it's uh, well, a granny flat is a, a a home that you can put in even a mobile home on your personal property that the city is allowing you to do now because of the increase of homelessness, because the the decrease of inventory, because uh, there's there's the houses are going up so exponentially that mm -hmm. no one can afford them. So they're allowing you to build yeah. a house on your property. Can so, anyone live there or yeah, just the your granny? Jesse, <laughs> just a granny. Only okay. grannies. Good to yeah. know. That's the problem with it. Yeah. You can't have your grandfather move in. He's not allowed. That's right. Okay. Okay. Very stringent flight. laws uh, for these I know. Auxiliary dwelling units are called now ADUs. They're trying so, to get rid so of the So how do you, flight. okay, let's say I buy a used um, mobile home. Right. How do I increase the value? Is it, can you upgrade them or how does that work? It would, it, it's exactly like picture buying any house. Okay. That's like you dump. Let's say you go inside and the kitchen needs to be remodeled. The bathrooms are leaking and all that. That's what, that's what a mobile home is. There's special, there's contractors who specialize in uh, doing mobile homes. There's actually special real estate agents that specialize in mobile homes because it is a specialty, a niche. The way you register them, the way you pay for them is way different than a house. The way you get a loan for them is different. So it's a, it's a unique niche, but it is, it is getting more and more popular because they're seeing that they can make these parks beautiful now. Mm. I would think that the plumbing can, can and electricity you, uh, are different on a mobile home, right? Hooking up. Well, you don't need to know that because, you, I mean, unless you're an electrician, who cares? You plug in something and it works. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> right? So yeah, I don't know how anything works. Right. So I don't know why I asked that one. <laughs> That's a good question. I don't even know what electricity yeah, really 12 is. 12-gauge wires versus 14-gauge, okay? There's yeah, 220, 221, whatever it takes. It's like sparkly water, but I'm not really sure. Well, it's actually the, cool, the really good thing about mobile home parks is that if you do build a mobile home park in any area, and let's say you have an em eminent domain, which is that's when the, the city or state says, we need to remove your house to build a freeway through. You could just move the whole, you can move the houses. Put the, you know, put the How much does through. it cost to move your mobile home? About 10 Gs. 
Mm. Really? Yeah, I know guys that do it. They charge about 10 to 15. What they're doing now is they're getting the old mobile homes if you want to make some money. Okay. And they're selling them to people in Mexico. The people in Mexico come here and take them. They put them on Rosarita Beach and they make huts for the beach because you could do that in Mexico. So that's what's cool about oh, that's this. that's cool. Yeah, living right by Mexico. So if you have a, a mobile home, you can actually sell it and they'll take everything. They, they don't care if it has asbestos in it or whatever. They, they rehab it in Mexico. They may, uh, get a palapa next to it. They put the surfboards. They put on Rosarita Beach. And you get right. to do, uh, Airbnb it all day long. I'm, that's my next vacation. And I'm going yeah. to guess they don't care if it comes from Arkansas. They mm-hmm. don't care where it comes from. <laughs> they don't right. care. No. They don't care. So you can get mo- – so, so, Frank, how do you know so much about mobile homes? Well, it's almost I, like you're a real estate guy yeah. or something. Well, actually, I, I did a proposal over 10 years <laughs> ago and saying that if you want to uh, make homes – less expensive for people, open up more mobile home parks and you can stack them on top of each other. You can do the solar thing. You can do gardening for people who have dementia. You can, uh, you can have two units, you know, uh, give two units to nurses so they can respond to the units, check on the people, and that would be... Uh, a, like a community. Like a real community where, where you're, you're... So did anybody listen to you? So if you're calling you? and you go, hey, my grandma's not answering the phone, they could get on their little you know, awesome. electric car and go check on them before they call 911. That would take the So relief. if somebody wanted to buy a mobile home, can they call the Powell Brothers? I'm an expert. Call me, 858-361-2488. That's my direct line, not Mark's. Wow, that was a good... Say yeah. it again. 858-361-2488. Frank Powell, direct What if you want to get a hold of Maria? Well, she's in Costa Rica. That's hard. 858 <laughs> yeah. Maria. <laughs> Maria, we, we know you're, you are traveling the world. We're so proud of you. You're doing comedy all over. Right now you're in Costa Rica. You don't want to brag, but you're doing a couple shows there. But how do people get in touch with you? Where can we find Just, you on social uh, media? Oh, always find me through ComedyHeights.com. That's my show in San Diego. I'm very proud of it. It's doing really well. So just look for me there. We have a new show uh, that's in Liberty Station on a Thursday night. 6.30 every other Thursday, and that's a lot of fun. If you that's want to getting be more and more popular. Yeah. Go yes. Liberty Station, folks. Yeah. It's beautiful out there. Jesse, how do we get a hold of you? Uh, you can find me at Jesse Egan Comedy on all social media. My website's jesseegan.net. And uh, and you can follow me on Venmo at, at Jesse Egan Comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. Yeah, we're going to have to follow you on Venmo when oh, you okay. leave because we have to pay these guys big bucks to I get these it. guys in here. Well, anyway, Mark, then, how do we, get a, touch how do we get a hold of us? Well, you tell them. Okay, it's real simple. You can look us up online at powellbrothersrealty.com or you can call us at 858-922-7725 and we will answer all of your real estate related questions. You can also look us up at YouTube. Just go My Funny House with the Powell Brothers and you can watch us talk to Jesse and Maria. So we sell mobile homes, condos, and uh, residential homes. But guess commercial, what? We also yeah, right. do commercial properties. Yeah. We're, we're selling a lot of commercial a properties now. A couple listings on those. Those yeah. are nice. You'll those sell Ferris wheels. wheels. Yeah, you Ferris wheels, kind of juggling, exactly. tickets. Carney supplies. So, the, the, so listen, if, you're gonna, if you, if you want to look at mobile homes, really look at them. There's an alternative, 55 and up, and they have 55 and lower. You can have kids. You can have fun. It's another way to look at housing, and it's not a good, I mean, it's a super good deal. Don't look down on mobile yeah, homes. They're, they're the next. Yeah, yep. they are awesome. Really? I really like mobile homes. Okay, everyone, okay. thanks for tuning in. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for listening, that was everybody. Sweet. Have a great Saturday. Bye bye. Thanks so much for joining us today for My Funny House with the Powell Brothers, right here on The Answer San Diego. Join us next week as the Powell Brothers bring you more funny stories of what can go really right and what can go really wrong with home improvements and home ownership. And bring the laughs to you with yet another hilarious guest comedian. To find out more about the Powell Brothers, be sure to check out their website at powellbrothersrealty.com or you can visit myfunnyhouse.com. Again, thanks for being with us and we'll see you next week for My Funny House on The Answers San Diego.